and we are back so uh, for the continuation we will try to tackle uh, other trick question like uh, number 40 and above so we will try to do number 40 so number 40 so this is uh, uh, trick question uh, which I uh, love to focus on so uh, for number 40, I'll try to start up uh, with uh, a new list So which uh, should be restart at uh, 40 oh. Set numbering value, we start with uh, number 40 40 okay so we get number 40 so if today is saturday and it is raining uh, therefore mike is at the library okay let's uh, put it for more comfy so if today is saturday and it is raining therefore mike is at the library so today is Saturday and raining, right? And is it raining? Okay, yes. Okay, sometimes you could put here, yes, raining or true, raining. Therefore, means that then, okay library uh, Mike okay Mike is at library so uh, simple like this today is Saturday and raining therefore Mike is at library so two people live in the same house if they have the same address so uh, you have a if so if must be at the left side so you have right side and left side of the uh, imply so if uh, when you have an if over here uh, it means that you are uh, the if one should be at the left side so remember our uh, remember with our uh, classes okay concept that we learn uh, on logic before this so if they have a same address so if they have the same address if two people two means less than all so all ni maksud kita boleh pakai universal tapi ini maksud kita pakai sum lah uh, x ok and then sum y ok they have the same address so address uh, somebody have address uh, x and somebody also have address y so if two people have the same address like this address address and somebody also have the same address therefore they live in the same house okay live in the same house so live together so live house uh, together so x and y live within the same house together So 42, two siblings, two people are sibling if they have the same, uh, they have the same parent. So two people, sama sikap konsep. Uh, two people means uh, they are some. Okay, one is A, one is B or one is X and another one is Y. So they have the same parent. So let's say that. Uh, has parent uh, they have uh, parent uh, X okay okay have the same parent okay right and then N has a uh, parent Y so they are siblings X comma Y adik beradik so kita boleh translate juga dalam bentuk macam ni lah uh, Ali and Abu Okay Ali and Abu 
So this means that they have a uh, parent, okay? Uh, Ali and Abu also has a uh, parent, okay? Abu, the same parent. So Abu and Ali are uh, sibling, right? Ali and Abu are sibling, right? Okay, you can see it. Okay, to clarify more. Okay, to further clarify. Kadang-kadang dia kata has parent. Kadang-kadang dia nak tahu kata sama-sama ada parent. Parent dia Ahmad. Okay, the parent is Ahmad. Okay, let's say that uh, Ali and Abu have the same parent. So, the parent would be Ahmad. Okay, Ahmad. Alright, let's say that uh, Ali has parent of Ahmad, Abu has parent of Ahmad. So, Ali and Abu are siblings. Alright, Ali and Abu are siblings. So, to clarify more, you can also put another variable, Z. Okay, some Z. So, it means that if uh, X uh, have uh, the same... Uh, Variable Z and Y also have the same uh, parent uh, represented through the same uh, variable Z. So X and Y are sibling. So X has the same parent that is Z with Y also have the same parent with Z. So X and Y are sibling. Okay, this is uh, also to further clarify. To, to further clarify the meaning. So, you can do whatever uh, the step that uh, I've done in order to further clarify the um, predicate calculus uh, sentences. Hmm. Alright, next uh, we look into unification. So, for the unification, we uh, probably have to uh, take a step back. Okay, look at the uh, notes. So, the notes are on the page 20. So, if you turn to page 20, it show you how to do unification. So, unify P, A and X and so forth. So, the unification is on page 20. So, you can read about unification. So, unification is a means uh, of a process that computes the appropriate substitution. Means that you would substitute variable with constant or variable with uh, function expression. So, you can see it something like this. Um, you can uh, see it as uh, unification as uh, substitution, uh, substitution. So, you can substitute Ali with X. Or Abu, you substitute with Y. So, you can uh, see that Ali is a student. So, you can have here Ali is a student. And then you can also look at uh, X is a student. So, you can replace student with Ali. Okay, Ali. Okay, you can replace student with Ali. Or, you can also replace uh, student with Y. Okay, Y. Or that student would become student Abu. Okay, because you write it like this. Ali replaced with uh, X can be replaced with Ali. Y can be replaced with Abu. So, substitution is uh, simple. Very simple. So, uh, we look at the exercise. So, this exercise say that PAX and PAB so, uh, remember the capital letter is a variable while the small letter is a constant. So, P, A, X and P, A, B. So, A and B is a constant. So, in this case, A and A cannot be replaced. Okay, because both are constant. Okay, the constant can only be replaced with a variable. Because X is a variable, so X can be replaced with B. So, that's why you write here B 
comma x Okay, the answer would be B slash x Sorry, it's not comma but slash Okay, this is for example number 1 So, example number 2 P, A, x N P, y, b so because a is a constant and y is a variable you can replace okay you can replace a with y and also you have uh, b is a constant x is a variable so you can also replace b uh, with x okay you can see it something like this uh, okay you may I have already seen uh, something like this one in previous example Ali likes Linda right okay and then you can also unify this with likes x comma y so Ali can be replaced with x okay and then Linda can also be replaced with y so this is what we call it as unification and sometimes uh, you can also replace uh, X Okay, everybody likes Linda And then some uh, Linda likes everybody Or Ali likes everybody Like this one So Ali likes everybody So here you can also replace with Ali Comma X And then Linda uh, slash Y Sorry, it's not comma slash y Okay, you see the position Okay, the position Okay, the position uh, X must align with Ali Linda must align with Y mm -hmm. So, example number 3 You define P, A, X and P, Y, F, Y So, P, A, X And P, Y, F function or the predicate y ok in this case uh, the one that's are clear is a so a can be replaced with y ok because a is a constant uh, y is a variable and then x can be replaced with fy so fy is a function can be replaced the whole the whole bukan dia boleh replace uh, y saja but the whole function or the whole predicate so I have to use uh, another color uh, So you can see it better Okay Okay soft color So X can be replaced with F Y Okay Number 4 P A X N P X, P Okay You can see that uh, A can be replaced by X But X can be replaced by B Okay So if you have something like this uh, This uh, would, uh, can be called as, as a failure Because why? So why? So why it is a failure Because A can be replaced by X Okay, X position must be on the first parameter Or the first arity Okay, the first uh, parameter But on the uh, second predicate The X exists on the uh, second arity Maksudnya uh, dia berlainan So you can see that the Position uh, The position themselves have changed So X cannot change position So if you look at the previous example X does not change position Okay it is consistent So if X on the second parameter The Y must uh, exist on the first parameter But here the position is jumbled up So this is a failure you can uh, write down it as failure because it is not consistent okay the x position the x position is not consistent so if you read it fully okay you can read it like this it's not consistent 
5 Unify PAX and PYB Okay, this one we have already done Okay, PAX and PYB uh, So, this one same as number 2 Okay, number 6 Unify PAB and PXX Okay, this is also a failure Because X position Is not Consistent hmm? Okay X exists in two Different position So this uh, is not allowed Okay Number 7 Unify P uh, X F Y And P F Y And B So You would rarely get This kind of question Because you have 3 parameter Our syllabus only cover Up to 2 parameter Or 2 RT So Nevertheless We try to do this uh, Just for the sake of example So And then we have P X F B And then B Okay, let's see if uh, it could be uh, replaced. So X and X. So this one is not a replacement. Okay, it is consistent. So you do not replace this. Okay, secondly, we look at Y. So B can be replaced with Y. So B replaced with Y. Okay, second parameter F, Y, F, B. And then B and B is not replaced Okay, replaceable So, the answer is B slash Y Okay, dia tak ada B slash X Kalau kat sini, patutnya tak ada X ni, dia duduk consistent So, only B slash Y So, I, I do not understand why the notes say This is MGU and this is not MGU Okay, because uh, it is correct Both say it as it is correct so here we have uh, several examples. Next resolution reputation, we will cover it into the next section or next segment. So we look into uh, practice make perfect. Okay, on page forty. Sorry, page thirty. Uh, so page thirty nine. All right. Try to do. Uh, An exercise, okay? We try to do an exercise on uh, this page. Oh. Okay, okay, that's better. Okay, unify parent X, Y and Ali Z. So, this one, A. Okay, the answer would be X. Okay, Ali replaced with X. Another second, uh, failure. Okay, because X, and, uh, Y and Z cannot be substituted. Because both are Different variable Okay, B also uh, A is a complete failure uh, Because X position Is not Consistent Okay, C Queen A and not Queen Elizabeth So this one can be Substituted Okay, Elizabeth Comma A Sorry, slash A Right. Okay, not doesn't matter whether it has not or otherwise doesn't matter. The thing is that uh, this is a queen and then this is also another queen. So A can be replaced with Elizabeth. One is a constant, one is a variable. So ancestor Ali Ahmad. So how do you replace this? Okay, ancestor X. 
So, uh, the first foremost one. Okay, this one can be replaced. Okay, I leave with X. And another one. Okay. You can also be replaced because this is a function, not a, a predicate. Okay, another predicate, not a variable. It's a predicate. So, we can also replace this with uh, Ahmad and Father X. Okay, this one can be replaced. Okay, this one is a failure because... Uh, A and B uh, position is not consistent. Okay. Okay, C you can replace but not A and B. So, for the sake of completeness, you can write it like here, like this. C, X can be replaced. Other cannot be replaced. Uh, a failure. So, father A, B, father X, Y. Okay, this is a trick question. In this case, A is a variable, while X is a constant. So, you can replace uh, X with A. Okay, first one here. X, okay, replace with uh, A. So, and then B, you replace with Y. B, you replace with Y. Okay, G. Okay, father X, uh, W and Y. Okay, this one is also straightforward. W, okay, replace it with father X. Okay, Y, you replace it with B. So, this, there are no uh, H, so we stop at here. So, today, uh, for this segment, you learn about unification. So, the note about unification is a big uh, scarf. Dia tak banyak. Okay, a little bit thin. So, this is the only notes about reasoning and unification. So, you can replace uh, variable with constant or variable with function expression or constant with other variables so this is the example where we have already done uh, a little bit of exercise and I've already explained it um, briefly on how to perform unification so there are questions uh, on final examination also uh, asked directly about unification but usually in the final examination unification uh, as uh, us are uh, being asked indirectly so the question in the final examination about unification are being asked indirectly. So whatever it is, you need still need to study about unification because the question about unification are being asked indirectly together with uh, the question of resolution refutation. Okay, it came uh, in the form of case study, uh, in the form of case study or short article where you have to translate every sentences in the paragraph of the article into predicate calculus. So when you translate it into a predicate calculus, you also have to perform resolution refutation to prove a conclusion. So when you are proving a conclusion, you need to indirectly perform unifying. And then you have to know why certain uh, predicate or certain variable cannot be unified. Uh, so these some of the reason are inconsistent position. Hmm. So um, that's all for uh, this segment. So for the next segment, uh, we will do resolution refutation where we will combine all of our knowledge about predicate calculus into a single technique. Uh, we call it as resolution refutation. So for now, um, we are going to rest. Okay, take a break. And then we continue with another uh, section, the next section.